In this Knife Talk video, I'm going to be talking about GEC's warranty in general, um, and then also specifically this past time that I used their warranty and these four knives that I got back from them uh, all yesterday. So uh, it was a package that I've been really looking forward to. Um, and first of all, Chris at GEC called me on Monday, uh, Monday morning. Uh, today is Wednesday. So they said that they were going out uh, that day on Monday and they got to me by Tuesday. So I had them on Tuesday uh, and they shipped on Monday. So really, really quick shipping. Now, I, I can't say that that, you know, is true for everyone because I only live about an hour and a half, uh, maybe two hours away from, from Great Eastern Cutlery from Titusville. But really cool that uh, they called on Monday and I had the knives uh, by Tuesday. <clears throat> So that's that's cool in itself. Um, now, some of these knives, so these three here, uh, were at GEC for quite a long time. But first, let me uh, kind of say why all these knives were there. So this one um, was really difficult to open. Uh, it just had a really strong pull, felt rough on opening, um, and I thought it might have had a burr. Uh, so I sent it in to have them work on that and they did fix it so that's great this uh this is a 45 lumberjack from the 2016 rendezvous um this is a 43 oregon trapper in sandbar stag and it just had a little bit of blade wrap not very much but i couldn't get it to, to go away i sharpened it many many times and it wouldn't go away so I decided to send in send it in also, and then the same thing here on this sixty five Ben Hogan. Um, this is one that I've had a really long time. My dad gave me this knife um, pretty early on into when I was into GECs, uh, and I've used it a lot. But it's always had a little bit of blade wrap, um, and I've sharpened and used it a whole whole bunch. It wasn't going away, so I decided to send it in also, and then finally. Uh, this one here is the 44 Buffalo Jack and in Cocobolo and uh, Brass. And um, I actually broke the pen blade. Um, the one that this one came with an off-center pen blade. It was actually touching the, the pile side liner. And I tried to bend it to fix it and snap the blade, which I've never done before. I have fixed other uh, fixed the centering on other knives. but. Yet again, uh, I was breaking my own rule that I try to follow of um, if I'm not happy with a knife as it comes, uh, either selling it or sending it in for a replacement or a warranty um, instead of trying to fix it myself. Uh, and I seem to break that rule pretty often, but it's one that I'm going to really try to, to commit to here after this. So broke the pen blade on that one. Now, these three... I actually sent to GEC, I think, in mid-May. Um, so quite a while ago, it's uh, late August now uh, when I'm filming this. So what is that? June, July. So they were there for, you know, probably three months. Um, and uh, then this one, I actually dropped off in person at the rendezvous. So that, that was actually um, about a week and a half ago. Okay, so these ones took a while. These ones took about three months, and I think that the reason for that was this one, uh, the 45 Lumberjack. These basically, I think that they just sharpened them. You can also uh, work blade wrap out of a knife by lengthening the tang. So <clears throat> I guess I could show you some of these knives here. Um, you can also hammer or squeeze the, the kick to lengthen the, the kick there, the, the part that contacts the spring in the back but it doesn't look like they did that uh but i'm not sure on that they they could have but they did say when i talked to chris uh previously that they were just going to sharpen them they definitely did sharpen these two um they did not sharpen this one I'm not sure about this one uh <clears throat> so it does seem like they just sharpened the blade wrap out which i expected to be a pretty you know short uh fix right so you can just throw these knives in and with any any other run of knives that's getting sharpened and sharpen them enough that there's no blade wrap and then they're good to go uh so i was surprised that these took 
uh, three months. But I know that they're busy right now. Uh, they're doing some of the biggest runs that they've ever done. And this one, I think, was probably more of an issue. So I'm not sure if they took this knife apart. Uh, like I said there, it had a really rough, difficult opening. You can see now it's it's not difficult. It's it's pretty reasonable. I mean, it does have a stronger pull, probably seven or eight, but it's it's reasonable now. Whereas before it it was really really tough to open. I mean, it would get stuck and and things like that. So um, they did fix it, but I'm not exactly sure how. I don't know if <clears throat> they, um, you know. I don't know if they ground the sides of the tang here. It does kind of look like that was done. You can see that there's some um, scuffing there. And <clears throat> I don't think that that was there before I sent it in, but I'm not 100% sure. So I, I, it definitely looks like they polished the sides of, of the kick here. So I think that that's probably how they did it, but I'm not 100% sure. I do, I am pretty sure that they didn't take this knife apart. Um, so this was a more complicated fix than, than these. Still, I was a little bit surprised that it took that long, but again, they were doing the really big runs like the 15, the 71, um, the 44s uh, in that time period. So, you know, it's something that it can take time because they are busy and it's kind of a, you know, smaller, uh, smaller shop. There's Everybody has a job that they're doing, and and the warranty work just kind of uh, fits, you know, into the other things that they're doing. So um, these ones took about three months. Again, they fixed the ease of opening on this one. The interesting thing, I think that they might have polished this other blade also, the secondary blade, because it's definitely easier to open than it was before. Um, so I don't know if they, they just did it on both. Uh, but it, this secondary blade, really cool, um, kind of almost a full size pen blade, uh, is definitely easier to open, but so, you know, still a strong pull and everything, but, uh, more, more usable. Um, so they fixed that, they fixed both of these. And to be honest, I'm impressed that they were able to fix the blade wrap on this knife because it's a very, very skinny handle and a very long blade. Um, so you know, they, they definitely sharpened this one. Uh, it does look like they sharpened it quite a bit. So uh, they were successful in taking the blade wrap out. And that's really cool. Uh, this is a knife that, like I say, I, I like to use and, and carry because uh, my dad gave it to me. And uh, it's nice to, to know that it's not gonna be ruining the edge every time I use it. Now, they also cleaned up both of these knives. They didn't for this knife, um, but these three, they, they polished up. So uh, this one had gotten pretty rough on the handles, uh, kind of scuffed up, and they polished the handles. You can see that it's really nice. This is what they call black gold acrylic. It kind of has sparkly pieces of acrylic inside a black acrylic, and it looks good. Uh, it definitely looks a lot better now that they polished it. They also polished the bolsters, the back spring, and especially, the blade. I actually put a patina, a forced patina on this blade, and uh, they took most of that off. I do think it still is, is slightly uh, darker than, than a fresh blade, but <clears throat> it looks really good. Um, it kind of gives the knife new life, I think. It had, uh, you know, some pepper spots and things like that. So I'm really happy with that. I'm glad they cleaned it up. Now, this one I had used before I sent it in, uh, actually a good amount. And I'm wondering if they re-etched this. I, I don't really recall, I could probably find pictures that I have of this knife before I sent it in, but I do think, it definitely had patina, and I do think that this etch was lighter than it is now. So, you know, they clean it up. It does seem like they polished the handle a little bit more on this knife than, than when uh, I had it before, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but they, they definitely took a, the patina off of the blade and possibly also re-etched the blade. Um, I have to say, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Northfield unexcelled etch, uh, but I don't really care about it too much. If I keep this knife, it's gonna be a user, so it'll go away pretty quickly. <coughs> um, so <clears throat> again, those took about three months. Now, uh, the rendezvous was, again, like I say, about a week and a half ago. Um, so 
I was there Thursday, so uh, coming up on two weeks ago for, for when I was there. And I dropped this knife off, and like I say, I had snapped the pen blade pretty much right behind that, that uh, nail nick. Um, and really, really bummer. I mean, as I'm sure you can assume, uh, I was very unhappy with the fact that I tried to do that and that it didn't go well and everything. But they put a new one on, and it only took two weeks. I think that that is really great. And Chris actually said when I was, you know, dropping this off that I should have just sent it in or brought it in to have the centering fixed because that's like a five minute fix, I guess. Um, so, uh, you know, I guess this fix took a lot less long than I expected it to. I expected it to be three months, maybe like these knives, but, uh, it's it still, um, I would strongly suggest if you have a GEC knife that's off center, uh, just send it in uh, rather than trying to fix it yourself. But uh, they, they put a new pen blade in, and again, I'm not sure if they have to take the knife apart because you would think that they would have to re-pin re the, um, <coughs> the spring pin. I think what they do is they drill out the pivot pin and pull the, the um, blade out and then just put a new blade in. But uh, everything is good. This one is centered, which again, the other one wasn't. So it's nicely centered, nice snap open, no blade play. None of these have any blade play uh, or anything like that. All have good action, same deal on the main blade. <clears throat> and they also clean this one up. So uh, I had used it bef a little bit before I broke the pen blade and they took all of that patina off and made it nice and shiny again. So uh, this one actually did cost some money, and these ones didn't. These uh, all of this was was free, and the shipping was free. They don't ask you to pay for shipping other than shipping the knives to them. This one for the reblade did cost twenty five dollars, and that's because I was you know upfront. I didn't try to you know lie to them and say that it just snapped magically while I was using the pen blade or anything like that. I told uh, Chris and Will, um, Bill Howard Jr there at the rendezvous that I had been trying to fix the centering and broke it myself. And because of that, it wasn't covered under the warranty. But I think that that's a really fair price. Uh, after I did break this pen blade, I had considered, I actually contacted Glenn Bad on the, on blade forums to see if he would just turn it into a single blade, which Speaking of which, I think that would be really nice because if you know if you have this pen blade open, so it's like it was a single blade, this knife would be pinchable, okay? And as a two blade, it's not pinchable. So it, I don't know how much that would have cost to, to get it turned into a single blade, but I do think that it would be interesting to see this knife as a single blade. I've seen some people on Instagram do that. Uh, but I, I decided it was worth it just in case I, I decided not to keep it and just so it was as made by the factory to get this blade put on. And I think that $25 is a pretty fair price for that. Um, so I'm happy with all of these. I'm very happy that this took, you know, much less time than I expected. Only about two weeks. Only <clears throat> actually under two weeks. And uh, I think that the price is fair. I think that these are really well done. Now... Um, I'm definitely keeping this one, uh, obviously, because it was a gift. This one, I, I'm really liking this one. I, I thought that when I got these knives back, I would sell this one because it's kind of one of the sought after ones. People had a hard time getting them and stuff, but I'm really liking it. It feels good in hand. It feels like a great size that you can, you know, it's not too big, uh, which I'll get to on this one, but it's big enough that you can do pretty much everything you need. Similar size to this, even though this one's a little thinner. Now this one, I, I really like this knife at the Rendezvous in 2016. I've used it a lot since then, but I, I'm just not feeling it. Uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to sell it, but I think that it's a possibility. It's just really, really big. It's really hefty. It weighs a lot. I think it's like half a pound or something like that. Uh, and it's just a really big knife. Not the most practical knife, and um, I think someone else might enjoy it more. Uh, this one, I really, really like the styling. I think it's a great looking knife. Uh, I'm not super connecting with it, but, um, you know, it's one of those ones that I'll see if I decide to keep, but I've been kind of feeling like, uh, I do often that I have more knives than I need and, and it's silly to have them if I, if I have too many to use. But anyway, 
that's kind of a different subject. Um, I just want to talk about these knives and uh, go over another experience here with GEC or Great Eastern Cutlery's warranty. Um, and one thing on that note, it's always good, it's a good idea to call. Um, so if you can go in person like I can sometimes, that's best. Uh, you can show it to them, you can talk to them face to face. Uh, but definitely also better than emailing is calling. Uh, you can call Chris. Chris is very friendly, uh, very helpful on the phone, and um, you know, all of that. There's, she's a very nice person. If you're there in person, sometimes uh, or, uh, Bill or or Will will um, you know look at the knife themselves uh, at the rendezvous. Will polished the bolster on my uh, Allegheny Mountain Knife Collectors Association um, whaler because it had a scuff from the factory. Uh, so all that, uh, they, they have great service, they're nice people, they really do stand behind and appreciate their knives that they make. Uh, they actually appreciate all traditional knives. I mean, you can show Bill Howard a, a non-GEC knife that's a nice knife and he'll appreciate it. But uh, they they really have a passion for knives. They want to make sure that the knives that they've sold are going to work for you. And I think that they appreciate if, if you do use them. Uh, but that's my uh, thoughts on this recent um, experience that I've had with the GEC warranty. I suggest, you know, if you have a problem, give them a call. Uh, I, I think it's a good way to go. And, and you can at least ask and see if they can help you out. Uh, remember that store knives are not covered under the warranty, so if you do appreciate and care about having the warranty, just be aware of that before you buy any store knives. But um, I hope this has been helpful. I know that there's not too much out there on the warranty. There's some on uh, blade forums, people talk about it, but this is uh, my one of my experiences with the warranty. And they've been... Um, in reference to the non-store knives, they've all been great. I did have a store knife that, that they uh, you know, didn't fix because it was a store knife, but all of my firsts, all of my first quality GECs, if they've had an issue, they've fixed it. So I, uh, I wouldn't hesitate if you have an issue to give them a call and see if they can help you out. But I hope that this video has been helpful. Uh, if it has, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And I've got lots of other videos on these knives, on GEC knives in general, and um, traditional knives, even some moderns and fixed blades. So uh, take a look at those. And if you want to get notifications for when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, go out and do good.